what is up and welcome to uh, new Alan vlogs and um, the reason that I haven't been doing like my general weekly vlog like as in talking about what I'm doing today doing different stuff throughout the day I'm just kind of doing one and done videos is because of quarantine obviously there's not much to do so it's very hard to come up with stuff to do that's going to be different every day so what I've been doing to keep myself busy is we're taking a lot of Hannah's old decking out so there's been decking in Hannah's back garden I'm staying in Hannah's at the minute so there's been a lot of decking in Hannah's back garden for the last 15 years we've lifted that we started putting in stones I'll actually turn the camera around and show you as talk you through it Cooper's going to star on this one so at the minute we have about four tons of stone in there going to need another four ton probably so the plan is to slab it as it is here the whole way across what are you doing you header right so that's the plan and then we've got planters and different stuff because Hannah's dad is an avid gardener apparently so that's for him to plant all his vegetables and everything we also have a corner here that hopefully whenever we get the slabs and all done that side of the garden done we want to work our way over here and build a shed for Hannah's dad to put all his tools in because he has a plethora of tools um, and then the next on the list then is behind me so see that conservatory and um, it was started before I knew Hannah way before I knew Hannah like 10 years before I knew Hannah and never got finished so the plan is because we're obviously not going to be traveling anywhere until August time I would say or later is to put a new roof on it and hopefully get windows and stuff into it before the end of the summer and have it all all planned out that's if everything goes to plan obviously things won't, won't go to plan so that's why we're doing it in stages we kind of have the garden split into three and we'll get stage one done stage two and then hopefully stage three this summer but if not it'll, it'll just progress on through the year um apart from constantly doing this um i have been putting up the kind of one and done vlogs and videos just to kind of keep content up on the page um and obviously i have little bits of work to do so at the minute we're kind of we're our hours away we're just down so we're only in i'm in one day two days a week in the call center um for the coronavirus helpline in Loud, which is which is like if anyone's cocooning or anything like that they call up and if they need any help then i get get the help they need basically so if they need shopping i'll ring someone to do the shopping for them and deliver to them um if they need a lift to appointment we sort out people to get come collect them and drop them to their appointments and also i'm starting to do uh fitness and fitness classes for beginners and different stuff because with work our goal is to get people active and we're not really focusing on the upper end of like people who do play sports at a high enough level we are focused on getting as many people active we're focused on the quantity of people who are going to be active as a lot of people now at the minute are stuck indoors and stuck inside and working within a five kilometer radius they have no gyms so we have to try and get as many people suitable fitness classes for them so i'll be working on beginners classes There'll be other guys working on more intermediate advanced um, i'm also i also have stuff to do for like a, a couch to 3k program so from basically from people who are in the houses who want to get out walking and running we're going to do a couch to 3k program because a couch to 5k program is going to be very hard to run without being able to monitor people and actually have them face to face meeting with you the other thing is then of older adults so i've uh, usually i have these th this thing called the go for life games and um, so it's people who are 55 older who are retired who are looking to stay active and play games and socialize so there's two aspects of it and unfortunately the socializing aspect is going to have to take a back seat 
to actually activities and working out games and different activities that people can play in their homes and um, hopefully people have some of the people who are going to be involved obviously will have people living with them or people who visit them or grandkids and different stuff so I have to get me thinking cap on to think of games that they can play while social distancing apart from that similar enough to everyone keeping safe keeping me distance I've been going for a few runs every week just to kind of keep my fitness up fitness fitness and that's really it so I've probably done more work while off than I do in work but hopefully that's going to change now when it comes back because everything will be ramped up because everybody's going to be wanting to get active a lot of people are overeating a lot of people aren't exercising while they're in quarantine I know there's people who are exercising a lot before quarantine and kind of have taken a back step like myself who would have been maybe in a gym twice a day nearly most weeks um, I have gone back to now just maybe two or three runs a week just to keep myself right I've done absolutely no resistance work so I done I started off with the two the two circuits that I did in a previous vlog but since then I haven't done anything because it's very hard to get the motivation to do something when you're not in the gym the gym is like the gym is 50% if not 70% of your motivation actually being in the gym once you get to the gym you're ready to, you're already there to work out it's very hard to get motivation to work out and like work out work and live in the same place so the people who have home gyms i applaud you but outside of that this is kind of me just rambling on about what i've been doing to keep myself occupied during quarantine um so Working in Hannah's back garden is the the slabbing area, but also for the slabbing area, I forgot to mention it. I am building a pallet chair corner unit that is going to go in that area over there in that corner. And Hannah's mum and dad then have fire pits, which we've had a couple of like barbecues and had like a makeshift bar or a makeshift fire pit I'll show you it now as you can see there's still some remnants of wood from Hannah's birthday the other night but that's that's what we've uh, succumbed to in terms of activities outside of work one blessing is the weather is absolutely fantastic so at least you're not lo locked in your house, you're able to go out and get some air. But you'll make sure everyone's staying safe. And until next time. What's up guys? Thanks for taking time out of your day for watching my vlog. Make sure you like and subscribe. More content coming up. Boom.